Hi, I'm Danny Hallam. Watch my latest interview on the Verd MTV. Congratulations, Danny, on a brilliant start to your lone stay at Berwick Rangers. Your thoughts on that two goal debut? Um, obviously, I was very delighted at getting the two goals, but the main point was to win the game because Peterhead's a hard place to go and get a win. We came away with a win, so obviously, it was a bonus getting the two goals, but the main point was getting the win. How did it compare to your senior debut in the last match of last season against Aberdeen? It was up there, like uh, the feeling after the game, all the boys were buzzing, everyone was so happy to get the win. Obviously, the extra bonus for me scoring the two goals, so I was up there with a feeling against making my debut against Aberdeen. Definitely up there. In terms of physicality, how did it compare to under 19 league football? Oh, it was a, definitely a bigger challenge. Um, some older men, about 40 year old men playing against you, and obviously you need to get used to that challenge you want to make in a football. So it's definitely a big step up and definitely a challenge if you want to play at that level. And obviously, what did the, the coaching staff of Eric say to you before your debut and, and obviously once you completed that move? They made sure there was no pressure on me at all. They, they tried to reassure me that just go out and play and play my usual game, but no pressure was out there on me at all, just to go out and enjoy myself and just look forward to playing. Have you set yourself any targets between now and the end of the season for that long period? Um, I'm hoping to get a few more goals under my belt for a and hopefully get a few wins because if you get a few wins and just gradually got the table, if, you get, if I get goals, it's definitely added bonus for me to put a point to the manager. Have you looked at examples of Hibs youth players that have gone out on loan to lower division clubs and have come back and, and made a massive impact? I mean, Kenny Miller immediately springs to mind from his time yeah, up at um, Stenhousemere. I've been told about Gary O'Connor and Derek Radigan at one as well, and that gave a bit of motivation to quit on and try and do my best for the club. Obviously, um, they've done math achievements in their time, so hopefully I can try to follow in the footsteps. To what extent does it help that Jordan Forster was there already as well? Oh, Jordan Vino makes a massive difference. He introduced me to all the boys, and him being there gives me a bit more confidence because he's somebody I can talk to, he's somebody I can also get to know the lads and all that stuff. But also, Jordan's a good lad, and it's unfortunate to see him set off on Saturday. Berwick to Peter Head, surely it's got to be one of the longest away days in Scottish oh. football, has it not? Oh, Did you, uh, I presume that you joined up with most of the lads in, yeah. in Edinburgh though, so you mm. cut up the, the borders kind of thing. Yeah, I'll be joined in Hermiston Gate and we left at quarter to ten and go back at ten at night, so it was a long, long day. <laughs> What's next up then for, for Berwick, who have you got at the weekend? We've got Clyde at home on Saturday, so that'll be a tough fixture as well, and I'm sure it'll be a physical challenge for me. And Jordan and Durham will be playing, so it'll be a physical challenge for me. Hopefully I can adapt well to and just play again. Obviously there's a lot of Hibs fans in, in that part of the world. There's a thriving supporters association down in, in Berwick. So are you hoping to perhaps uh, turn on the style in front of them? Because obviously Hibs are, are away up in Inverness yeah, on Sunday. Yeah, I would hope so. I think, I think people would come to the game in and if there is an added bonus, because they need to try and prove in front of all the fans that they're worthy of being here and obviously try to be good enough for the club.